my guys. So take three, different angle as well. Sorry guys, so unprofessional of us, but we're getting here again. So welcome to this week's episode with us, RGJ Trains at David Junction. So, you know, it. I jinxed it when I put on the update, the next day would be rain, because all we've had since that is rain and wind. But before we get onto anything, I kind of do want to show you something you might hear in the background only because it might die. So those of you will have seen that Wayne Model Builder did us a little commission. He made us um, an RAF um, rescue helicopter for MAM. So that's like a part of thing on the railway. So Rob sorted it and very nervously um, sorted adjusting it. So the mountains are black in place, black, back in place, the brought was it Trawns? Yeah, the Trawns. The Trawns, yeah, exactly. Uh, but we now have, and I need you to kind of be professional and make sure that it's seen on the camera. Um, but we now have it in place. So obviously, I know, you know, rivet counters and whatever will turn around and say it's not the right speed, but this is literally held together with a AAA battery just to get it shown for you guys because it needs proper wiring in. The wire is already set to go down, but it was just one thing after another, so Rob's going to sort that later. But that's where it's going to live. We've still got to sort out the clouds at the back and tidy it back up mm. once we know it's... The, the camera's focusing on your hand oh. as you do. <laughs> Carry on. So, yeah, um, so we've still got, like I said, there is still bits to do on the mountain, but because we're not fully sure if it's moving anymore, um, it's not really having too much done for it. Once my section is done, hopefully this weekend, I can, I'm moving my hands again, um, I can go and paint at least that wall so that scene is kind of created. Can I move come back, back in, in there? there? Right, I didn't want to, I was just like, oh, I don't know. So, yes, hopefully that is like the next kind of thing, like we said, working our way kind of back to forwards. So, yeah, guys, plans for this week. So, Rob is continuing with his TMD. I think he's got a rough idea of where he's going now. Even if the TMD area is not really fully done, at least um, we should have the lower line working again. It will need cleaning, but that should be done. And I will be continuing on with our... Um, are you moving it? Are you moving it? Are you moving it? Are you moving it? Oh, they can't see me. That's, that's all right. That gives them a break. So yeah, I'm hopefully continuing. You probably won't see it here, but I have drawn in like my fence line and things ready. Nope, can't see it. There, the trees there. So I have done a little bit of drawing to try and get me a rough face, but I will be going hopefully creating a bit more of a scene with the tree, bushes, things like that. Um, so that is my job. So anyway, guys, um, Judy obviously wants our attention. So we're going to head off now and we will see you guys later on in this episode. Bye for now. Hey guys, only a quick short one from me. Excuse me, sounding a bit hoarse. Something happened yesterday and I've got a rather sore throat. Um, so having again another little rethink on the old TMD area. Um, thanks to the advice, we were told that the points were probably too close to the TMD area, so we've had a couple of short rails in those. Um, originally, we were just going to go the two lines down the side, but then I realised I had another spare point, so I can actually go the three lines down the side. Um, this white mess here is obviously, we still need a farm track from Grace's Farm, which we will note has been cut back quite dramatically to allow for space. So back to the old polystyrene, um, the plaster of Paris um, bandages, and the um, sculpt mould, which I won't be doing in cold weather. I'm not sure I remember that one. So we're gonna create a, uh, what's the word for it? Not really today. Create a, a lane, country lane down here, dirt track, very similar to what we did with um, the posh guy's house. Try and, you have to excuse that, it's rather windy outside. Um, and then just carve these into a hill with maybe like a windy track coming down. Um, and obviously it's gotta be clear of this third, third line on the outside. And then carve it down this way so it's quite natural looking. 
So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Thanks very much, I'll catch you in a bit. So on to my section now. <clears throat> Slightly losing my voice, probably never a bad thing. Uh, so what you might actually see here in this, better than the views we have had, is I have started drawing things like the tree. I've also drawn the fence. That will be done the last thing, but I needed that just to make sure that I had my hill right and everything just in the right proportion. So I'm going to aim to go with the tree here, and then I'm thinking possibly a bush or something here. The reason is it's going to look a bit odd otherwise. And also getting my hills in behind. So I'm going to have a go now, see how it goes. Fingers crossed, guys, it's getting a little bit more permanent as it goes along. And then after that, I might have a look at redoing the clouds, but also adding some more texture into them. Because now it's dried, it's pretty much the same white, so it doesn't really give you that texture of the cloud. It kind of looks like white splodges. Um, and at the bottom here, you can see where I've done those practice bits. But I think that works in giving it like a distant look at the clouds. So, wish me luck. out i've still got to do things like the fence a bit more but that's where i'm leaving it at for this week we'll see how it develops but thank you all for joining us once again and as we reach the end bye for now guys see you next week <laughs>